Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm actually going to be um, putting together a drink for you guys. Some people call this a tea. It's not really coffee. It's not really tea. Um, it's nothing psychedelic, but it's called kava. Um, some people try to classify it like, well, what is it? And basically, it's just a drink that makes you feel really relaxed. And for some people, the uh, effects are greater than others. It's not addictive at all, so it's not uh, like a drug, you know, where one can become addicted or they um, feel like they, they have some one day and then they need some again. It's basically like drinking uh, several, several cups of your favorite herbal tea. You know, so it's not it's not something that like takes you out of your body or out of your mind or anything like that. Um, it's something that uh, just you uh, relaxes the whole nervous system and endocrine system um, and keeps you in the present. So it keeps you where you are. You're the same person. You don't change personalities or anything. Um, and uh, kava is something that's popular, uh, like in the Hawaiian Islands. Um, Philippines has some of it. Fijian Islands, uh, Polynesia. And as you guys know, I have a somewhat of a Polynesian background and I know that some of my relatives have uh, talked about it. So, um, but I've never, I've never made some myself, but I've had some made for me, uh, you know, by family members and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to try my hand at making it just like they do. I have my um, kava drink here and some people say that, you know, they have kava drink and they don't feel anything. And some people say, well, you need to drink it over long periods of time like just like four ounces a day or a couple of times a day and then after like a couple weeks or a couple months then you know you might start feeling the calming effects but um, it does have a very earthy taste um, and it is a diuretic so what some people like to do is they like to add a coconut water just to balance out your electrolytes um, so I think that would be a really good idea. Um, I have uh, hydration tablets that I add to my water sometimes, so um, I'm going to be A-OK -okay <laughs> in the electrolytes department. Um, but here I have some uh, Fijian kava, and it comes from a, a brand called Waka Kong. Um, and it's kind of pricey. This was like $40, $40 um, for one pound of it. And you want something that's really finely done, like no no bits and pieces and basically um, what it is is there's a kava plant and kind of like where all the like branches are coming out of there's like this uh, big uh, ball and so it's part of that plus it's part of the roots and then they grind it all up um, so I've taken this and I placed it in the um, uh, cheesecloth that you see over there so some people take like a piece of um, nylon, like, you know, like a nylon stocking or something and uh, wrap it up in there. But I have taken a rounded half cup of my kava, placed it in here, and I've uh, double layered my um, cheesecloth. So this is not one layer of cheesecloth, but this is two. And some people prefer warm water. Uh, there are some cultures <laughs> that prefer it to be cold pressed. Um, and uh, people have suggested, like some people in my family, not to just uh, put it through uh, like a coffee filter. You know, you really, this is something you really need to like work with. So you are, <laughs> I guess it's kind of a meditative process while, while you make this. So I have uh, two cups of cold filtered water and I'm going to pour it over my kava. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start massaging the kava. And you notice that the water is starting to get a little cloudy. And that's a good thing. So we're just going to massage this. Lots of massaging. Um, and this will probably take several minutes. So um, at some point I will fast forward. You know, um, but you want to really mush it around. Get in there. Um, you know, almost like a stress ball. <laughs> um, and you'll notice at some point that there will be a, uh, almost looks like an oily layer on top of the water. And that's because you're extracting the oils, um, 
from the bits and pieces of root and root ball uh, that were in there. Um, so every now and then you want to do like a full squeeze out, squeeze it all out, you know, and then put it back in the water and re reactivate some of that, that powder. Okay, and so you're going to do this probably several times, so maybe like three or four times. One last go. Okay, so when you're all done, you want to take your now mushy ball of um, leftover powder and you can discard that, you can throw it away, you can put it in your garden, you can put it in your compost pile. Um, so I'm just going to set this off to the side. Um, I have a ladle so that I can continue mixing it uh, because some of the stuff likes to um, settle at the bottom, some of the powder. And some of it does take a little while to totally mix in. So, so this does take a little bit more time. This definitely isn't just um, put the kettle on and put a little tea bag in your your tea. You know, this is definitely taking some time out for yourself. Uh, you know, and I think this is a, a calming, pro uh, you know, little practice too, uh, as you as you make your kava. Okay, so I'm going to do this for a couple of minutes. Okay, so I think it's pretty well stirred up. So I have a little mason jar to drink out of just because um, it's got the measurements on here. So, you know, four ounces at a time is good. So I'm just going to put about four ounces in my mason jar. Okay, and then whatever's left over, um, I'm gonna be putting in my other mason jar here uh, for my dude when he gets home uh, because he's <laughs> he's got quite the job that he's working on. So I know he's gonna be um, be needing some some kava when he gets home. So that's it, you guys. That is how you make kava drink. Um, you know, I bet you can look up on YouTube and uh, there are people that make it several different ways. But this is my preferred a method that I've seen uh, family members use to make it. So. Uh, I mean, most of them don't really use the cheesecloth, they use a uh, uh, nylon. I would suggest a sock that you have never worn before. <laughs> um, but you know, a, a, a clean, um, you know, just a nylon stocking um, tied off into a knot, put a, a rounded half cup, you know, in there. And then, uh, you know, for me, it's cool water. Uh, two cups of cool water um, run over the, the ball of, um, kava powder uh, and then just see yeah, I just keep massaging and and mixing it in and then use the ladle to get it nice and mixed and then have it right away all right so cheers you guys and that's it for me peace love and chicken grease peace out